Are you ready to unlock one of Google's newest hidden gems? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Nano Banana, Google's latest AI image editing tool, together with VO3 inside Google Whisk, completely free. Most creators don't even know Nano Banana is already integrated in Whisk, and that means they're missing out on a powerful combination for creating high quality images and videos without spending a dime. By the end of this video, you'll know how to access Nano Banana, how to connect it seamlessly with VEO3, and how to start producing content that looks polished, professional, and engaging. Whether you're a content creator, marketer, or just curious about AI tools, this step-by-step -step guide will give you everything you need to start using them right away. So, if you're ready to learn how to harness Nano Banana and VEO3 in Google Whisk for free, let's dive in. Now, the very first step to getting inside Google Whisk is incredibly simple. All you need to do is head over to your browser, type in Whisk AI Google in the search bar, and hit enter. From there, click on the very first link that appears. Once you land on the home page, you'll notice that signing up doesn't require anything complicated at all. All you need is a Google account. No credit card, no hidden subscriptions, nothing extra. Just log in, and you're ready to explore. When you step inside the WISC interface, it presents a clean and straightforward layout. Right in front of you, there's an Add Images option. If you click on it, you'll be introduced to three distinct sections. The first allows you to upload an image of a subject. The second lets you provide a scene, which acts as the environment where your subject will be placed. And the third section is for specifying the style you want for your image. You also have the ability to generate images from scratch directly inside Whisk, completely free of charge. For instance, instead of typing something basic, imagine entering a request like a majestic eagle soaring over snowy mountains. Once you run this prompt, the system gets to work instantly, and within a few moments, several high-quality images are generated for you. What's remarkable is the clarity. The images don't come out warped, twisted, or broken. They're crisp, realistic, and visually stunning. These images are powered by ImageGen 4, one of Google's strongest AI models for generating visuals. However, when it comes to editing, the heavy lifting is taken over by Nano Banana, which is built specifically for refining and enhancing visuals. It's important to note that while Nano Banana is fantastic for editing, it isn't very reliable for creating images from scratch. That's why the workflow is designed so that you first generate with Image Gen 4 and then move on to editing with Nano Banana. The process is straightforward. You select the image that was generated, drop it into the subject slot, and then define the scene by either uploading a reference photo or typing in a description. For this walkthrough, let's say I type a bustling marketplace filled with colorful stalls. Immediately, the AI begins combining your subject with the new scene. The result appears on your screen, and in many cases, it's surprisingly realistic. There's also a dice button available. When you click it, Whisk introduces a little bit of randomness by automatically swapping out the scene or applying a new artistic style to your image. It's a fun way to experiment and discover variations you wouldn't have thought to try on your own. Once you've finalized your subject scene and style, clicking the Generate button allows Nano Banana to work its magic. It processes the inputs and delivers a completely new, edited image that blends everything together. Now, occasionally, issues can arise. For example, if an image includes restricted content such as children, Google automatically blocks Nano Banana from editing it to maintain safety guidelines. 
In this case, I'll simply switch to a different scene. Here are the two images that Google's Nano Banana has generated for me. As you can see, both contain the same subject, but the overall style and the background scene are quite different. Interestingly, in one of the results, it seems Nano Banana skipped the background scene I had provided and instead only applied the artistic style along with the subject. Even so, the images turned out visually impressive, and the quality is strong enough to show just how powerful this tool can be. Now, let's take things further. I'll keep the subject the same, but this time I'm going to experiment by selecting a completely different style paired with a new scene. Once I lock in those choices and rerun the generation, the results are incredible. This time, Nano Banana perfectly preserved the subject while seamlessly blending it into the new scene, with the chosen artistic style applied consistently across the image. The workflow feels smooth, and the creative results are much more reliable compared to running editing prompts elsewhere. One of the biggest advantages of working inside Whisk is that you get advanced controls, such as adjusting aspect ratios. This flexibility is a game changer. For instance, I can instantly switch to portrait orientation, which is perfect for YouTube shorts or TikTok content, and regenerate the images accordingly. Nano Banana handled the portrait mode effortlessly and produced outputs that aligned perfectly with my settings. On the other hand, when I tested a similar request directly in the Gemini app, asking it to adjust an image into the 16 to 9 aspect ratio for standard YouTube videos, it didn't understand the prompt at all. Instead of resizing or re-rendering the image, it simply gave me back the same file unchanged. This highlights why Whisk is far superior, because it actually recognizes aspect ratios as official options and applies them correctly without confusion. Let's take another example. I'll keep my original character as the subject, then select a new scene. After that, I'll apply a random artistic style to give the final output a fresh look. Once everything is set, I'll generate the result in the wide 16 to 9 ratio to match traditional YouTube video dimensions. The AI model produced two stunning images. Now comes the exciting part, bringing these images to life with VEO3. The process is straightforward. After you find an image you like, simply click on it and then hit the animate button. This unlocks the animation workflow, where you can either give VEO3 specific instructions about what actions the character should perform in the video, or you can leave it blank and let the AI randomly decide. For my first test, I allowed the model to choose on its own. The animation it generated was impressive. The subject moved naturally, and to my surprise, the video even included sound effects built right in. Occasionally, you might get a render without sound, but that's rare. If it happens, just regenerate the video and it usually fixes itself. I also tried another test by animating a different image I had created with Nano Banana. The video VEO3 produced matched the style of the original picture beautifully. The movements, the pacing, and the overall tone stayed consistent which made the result look coherent rather than random.
The best part? Even though this is the free version, video generations are lightning fast, and the overall workflow between Nano Banana, Whisk, and VEO3 feels smooth and intuitive. Do note that each account is limited to five free generations, but if you need more, you can always sign in with additional Google accounts to continue experimenting. That wraps up this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and inspiring to see how these tools work together. Don't forget to try it yourself and start creating stunning images and videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.